Hello, knife enthusiasts, knife lovers, interested listeners, folder here. I want to do a video on a knife that, um, that when I, I think it first came out in early 2022 or sometime in 2022. And when I saw this knife, I, uh, I am, the previous version of it wasn't as appealing to me. So even though I love the brand and I love the knife, the original version wasn't as appealing. But when the new version came out, it really, really got me really nice. And that is on the Cold Steel AD-10 in the Tonto. Uh, not this knife. This is the AD-15 light. I've had this for a while. Okay. So anyway, um, and I just got the knife today. It's, it's Saturday the 7th. And I wasn't going to do this video immediately, but there are a few conditions in which the knife came or circumstances that I feel a need to do this video. I ordered this knife on, for, for, for a vendor on eBay uh, that I've never purchased from before. And I'm not going to mention the vendor because I'm not going to um, badmouth anybody. I don't do that. Uh, if anything, I would message that vendor privately and just say, listen, this is something I don't like. That's something I don't like. You know, maybe in the future when you're dealing with your customers, you might want to take this precaution or that precaution. So let me just get down to it. The unboxing. I did the unboxing already, but I'm going to redo it to show you what happened. Anyway, I got the, I got the, um, the item and um, immediately when I pulled it out of the package... I noticed the damage to the box. So I'm pretty sure this shipper, this vendor, didn't send this box to me like this. I mean, I would hope they didn't. I would hope this happened in shipping. Um, this box came in one of these bags. And yeah, these bags, you know, they're supposed to protect the box, uh, but they don't. And I'm going to tell you, that's why I almost exclusively, if there's something that I can buy from Blades We Love, I do it. Because nobody, nobody cares more about their shipping than Blades We Love. Their guy is incredible. Steve, I think his name is. Incredible. Um, now, some of you might be saying, so what? The box is a little bit damaged. Right? What's the big deal? I actually keep every box for every knife I ever purchase. I have all my boxes. And I do that because if I ever sell my knives back on the secondary market, I want to put them back in the original packaging, back in the original boxes. I have all my boxes. I keep them in a huge container. They're all in pristine condition. So I don't know if that's a little OCD, but it's the way I do it. So this, when I first saw this, I was like, oh gosh, okay. All right, well, you know, the box protects the knife, right? Uh, well, we'll get to that. Anyway... I took my um, PM2 at the time. I sliced the the, um, the tape and pulled out the knife. All right, so we're done with the box, right? And I'm like, okay, well, it's in pla it's in bubble wrap. It's got the um, the uh, opposite side clip, which is in its original packaging, which is a good sign. And then. We pulled that out of the bubble wrap, and I'm inspecting the knife. Actually, I just absolutely love this knife. This is really, you know, this is really, and I'll get to the reasons why I love this knife more than the original um, 8010s. So I'm just, you know, inspecting the knife and looking at it like I do every single knife I get. And I noticed that. Okay. I don't know. Let me make sure this is showing up on the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. That. So, it's a little... It's a little damage to the G10. Uh, this damage to this G10 did not happen because of this where this damage is on the box 
it wouldn't this wouldn't be damaged here okay oh you know what it could have been upside down though and there is because there is actually damage to the bottom of the box also i didn't even actually realize that so this is box is in the exact condition i pulled out of my mailbox and not only is there damage here but there's damage to this part of the box too and if the knife was in upside down i don't remember if it was upside down or if it was right side up but it might have been upside down voila there you go that this damage to the bottom of the box here would definitely cause that so i actually take all that back i think this was damaged in shipping i think it was damaged in shipping i'm not going to return this knife i am not i'm not going to return this knife um i bought this knife as a user and to be honest with you that if i did it i'd be like ugh, okay you know i damaged my knife and i would keep going but once i purchase it it's my right to do that okay it shouldn't come brand new with that so that i mean listen my number one knife my ad20 right my flagship ad20 is not perfect it's not it has a slight nick here right in right on the edge of the uh, top swedge on the blade. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. Can't tell, I'm not gonna go crazy over it. And it also has a little, slight little, yeah, that's nothing. That could be dropped out. That's not even anything worth talking about. But it's it does have a slight little chip in the, um there. You know, and I mean, you can look around these things and find little tiny things. Um, you know, but this is to the G10. This happened during shipping. Like I said, I wasn't, at first I didn't blame it on the shipping, but re-looking at this box, I blame it on the shipping. I do. But like I said, I, I bought it as a user. I bought it as a knife that I am going to carry. Um, so I'm not going to complain. Um, like I said, I might message the shipper privately. Um, I'm not going to dog anybody. I don't, I don't do that. Even if it was something that I was going to return, you know, I would do it as discreetly as possible. Anyway, let's get to the knife. This is the Demco AD10. Uh, 